What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here. So we're pulling on a rope here, and it's going around this uh, pulley with a, or it's going around this friction system, and then it's a 300 pound force on the other side. And it wants us to find the minimum tension in the rope at point A and point B in order for the system to be at equilibrium. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so in this equation, T1 is the direction that opposes the motion. So that means that T2 is going to be the one with the bigger force, and T1 is going to be the smallest force possible. So in this case, our T2 is going to be 300, because that's the force, and we're looking for the smallest possible force at A, which is going to become T1, because that's going to be smaller than T2. Because there's going to be some friction here that slows the force, and you have to apply less force at A in order to keep this 300 from moving. So let's start with uh, at point A. So at point A, our system is going to look like like that. Now we're going to have, this could be tension of A, and then this is our 300 pound. Right? So this is a 90 degree angle, so that's what our beta is going to be. We can just go ahead and say beta is equal to 90 degrees, and but we want beta in radians. So if we want to convert this to radians, we're going to multiply it by pi over 180, because there's one pi in radians over 180 degrees. So this is just going to give you pi over 2 is our beta. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're looking for T1, right? We said T2 is our 300 pounds, and T1 is our lighter force. So our equation is 300 is equal to TA uh, E coefficient of static friction, 0 0.3, beta, pi over 2. So we now we need to divide by this to get over here. So then it's going to become 300 e to the negative 0 0.3 pi over 2 is equal to t of a. So solve this, t of a is equal to 187 pounds. There you go, so we found that. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do it at b. So now we're at b, so we're going another 60 degrees. So here it is, 60 degrees. And then here's B. So our new force here is going to be like this. This is tension of B. So our new beta is going to be 90 degrees plus 60 degrees, which is equal to 150 degrees. But we need to convert that to radians. So to convert to radians, you multiply it by pi over 180. And you get that it's equal to 5 sixths pi. So there we go. So that's beta. Coefficient of static friction stays the same, so we're gonna follow the same method. So we're gonna get that 300, this marker's kinda of dead, but it's okay, is equal to the tension at B, E, to the 0 0.3, 5 over 6 pi, or 5 over 6 pi. So then of course we're solving for T, so we're gonna add that over. 300, E to the negative, 0 0.3, 5 over 6 pi, is equal to TB. Solve this, you get tension at B is 137 pounds. So there you go. So we found that the tension at B is less than the tension at A required, which makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, the further you go around, the more force, or the more friction is being applied, and therefore the less uh, like tension you have to apply. So there you go, so that's how you solve this problem. Uh, not too tricky. Yeah, so if you have any uh, status questions, check out my channel and leave any in the comments below, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.